in this time versus Rocket, they feared you guys coming in. What was the plan for taking them down? Um, last time we played Rocket, we focused on uh, Calava, and we did this time as well. We banned Caitlyn, and since they had first pick, we knew they would take something OP like it is or Kale, so we could second pick the Lucian. And then he was stuck with Israel or Jinx, which in our opinion is not so strong. And uh, Vayne was banned away. I would actually like to know from your point of view, because you're pretty much the only one playing Vayne, how strong do you actually think she is? And do you feel like she's up there with the rest of the carries? Yeah, so I feel like Vayne and Premade and Vayne and Zolo Q are two different things. I think in Zolo Q it's unplayable almost. Either you last pick it versus when it fits perfectly or you can't play it. But in Premade there are a lot of more there are a lot more options. Like you can tell your team that I need two buns, I need to bun Annie and Caitlyn so I can play Wayne. That's not possible in Solo Q. Also, you can lane swap or you can tell your jungler to camp your lane, you can do a lot of stuff. So Wayne is a lot more playable than Premade. So if you manage to do that, you can actually play her really well. So Annie and Caitlyn banned out to facilitate your Vayne, yet leaving Vander on his beloved Thresh. Are you guys not that afraid of him? So <laughs> when the picks and spuns were finished, we were actually a bit scared because we gave them Kale, Trash, and Elise, like three of their comfort picks. But our champs were good against their picks. Like even though it were like their their picks, we had the counter picks to them kind of. So it wasn't as scary. I don't feel like Trash is that good because the only way you can make something happen is by pressuring you out of lane, which is hard if you play good. Or like he hits a hook. And if you can avoid getting hooked, then he's not so hard to play against. So you're saying you played very well? <laughs> you could say it like that, yeah. <laughs> what about the Aatrox pick then? Because we haven't seen Aatrox in such a long time. And you pull it out in the top lane. What was the idea? Um, since Trundle and Renekton were banned, and they, we had actually planned to pick Jax, mm -hmm. because like, that's like a good pick. But they picked Jax, and we had the last pick, so... Freddy was like, okay, three champions are gone, I don't know what I'm going to play, but we trained some Aatrox. I can pressure Jax early and it's going to be fine, so he just picked the Aatrox. Everything actually went uh, quite well. You go ahead. And it, and it also fits like with our place there. Like Aatrox is very aggressive, he can jump in and he can pressure the lane, so it fit. So being very aggressive is also something you did yesterday versus Alliance, and it initially worked very well, but then that game, just heartbreaking for you. Um, tell me how that ended up. Yeah, so the game against the Lions, like, I don't know what happened after the game was over. I just, I just was so sad. Like, we had the game and I like threw it so hard. I, I pressured my team to go mid and attack the tower even though we couldn't. I had like 3k gold. I should have went base, but I was like, okay, we're just gonna do this now. And I was just like, I was tilting. Like, it never happened to me. But this one time against the Lions in one year, it happened this one time. And, oh, it's, and versus really Nif too. Yeah, wasn't it? <laughs> well, it was still a good game. And you guys, as you said yourself, you were in the lead and then kind of went wrong. So that actually leads me to the question now. How good do you think you guys are? Are you like top two in Europe, top three? Where do you guys see yourself? <coughs> I think we are top four in Europe. I think that's good enough. That's what we're aiming for, the split. If we can keep this, I think we are where we want to be for the spring split. Of course, if we can, we will go higher, but Top four is where we want to be, and that's where we are right now, I feel like. Yeah, you guys have definitely stepped up. Two teams looking to step up are also, of course, Millennium and Alliance here in our next game. Deficio, who are you calling it for? I'll give it to Alliance. They actually looked strong yesterday. They managed to pull in the comeback on SK, and it is even numbered week, so I'll have to give it to Alliance. But again, it is European LCS. 50-50 as always. So safe. What about you, Candy? Oh, well, it's an even week, so Alliance is going to win. It's not even close. It's not even close. Thank you very much. Great game from you once again. Thanks. And now we're going to rejoin Joe and Quickshot have the next match lined up. Thank you very much, guys. Next up is our fourth game of the day, Millennium 